Right, this is a quick demo of how to fit a um, externally variable controller to uh, the Xbox One. Um, I've already got, as you can see, the Xbox One uh, with the cover off. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials already on YouTube about how to get this to pieces, so I don't think there's any point in going over old ground. So we've got the cover off. Um, if we lift the hard disk up, you can see the fan connector there. Now, this part is in one of my previous videos, uh, but it's, it's simply a case of uh, removing the plug from the motherboard there, getting the plug from the other, from the module, plugging that in its place, and plugging the fan into the module. And that's that part done, basically. Um, although I must admit that it's probably better to do the next part first um, because it involves a slightly more... Um, slightly more work to do the next part. Not a huge amount. There we go. And we can lay that in now. I'm going to put the um, the control here, the pot, as it were, into this little space down here, which is where the um, if we get this up, which is where the security uh, slot is. Uh, we'll just put that so it sits in there beside the security slot. So, having put the module all in its place in here, we're just going to take this out for the time being. We need to drill a few holes in the, well, not a few holes, just a couple of holes really. And just put that back. And we need to get the all of this chassis out really although it's not really necessary because you can do it with this in you may find it's uh, beneficial to uh, take it all out I'm not going to bother um, I shall just continue as before the only thing I will take out is the hard drive just to stop that so now we can sit this up on end and we can see the uh, the space we're going to put it. There's plenty of space behind here. In the kit for the uh, controller there is a template and that, is it going to focus? I don't know. Uh, like so. On the controller you'll see there's obviously the main spindle here uh, which goes through the plastic and also a tiny lug there which basically stops the thing moving round as you twist the thing. <coughs> so what we'll do is um, just offer that up just there just to make sure it is where you want it to be around about there I think that should be about right whoops Daisy let's just move this over a bit so it's more central there we go yep so we'll just put that in there somewhere about there it doesn't have to be precise um, there's enough room behind there to for the drill to go through into so if we uh, put that to one side just make sure that's fairly clean and this needs to go any way around really um, peel the backing off 
I would prefer the thing to go that way round so that the holes are horizontally aligned and we'll align that roughly with the um, security slot and with that there we can now mark the point at which, or the two points at which we um, want to drill the holes. One sharp marking implement, uh, otherwise known as a modified screwdriver. So if we carefully mark the point there and one point here now the small hole to one side needs to be three millimeters and the other hole the larger hole for the bush needs to be 7.5 millimeters so having done that we now get the appropriate drills right so if we start with the small hole go nice and slowly and we're through on that one and we'll just use the same drill for the pilot hole for the seven and a half millimeter hole. Like so. I don't have a seven and a half millimeter um, bit, so I will go for an eight millimeter. This may be slightly more tricky. Again, take your time. Um, don't want to do too much damage or anything that uh, doesn't need to be damaged. If you try and rush things, uh, it will fall to pieces, basically. Right, let's just have a clean up. Take uh, the your little template off, throw that away. Two nice clean holes. Like so. Makes things a lot easier. Um, so we get the the pot, take off the little nut, the retaining nut and washer. Feed that through there. Like that, the um, the connections are on the bottom, nicely out of the way. Put your washer on and your nut. And 
there we have it. So now we just get the chassis back. So with the pot fitted, we can now route the cable over the top there, or even over there, and plug in to the fan, plug the module into the her motherboard like so tuck that down like so in fact it'll probably be better this way around and we will see when we put the lid back on you find that this um, cable will actually slot down between the foam of the other half of the um, chassis and um, and the side here so if we first of all put everything back together such as the hard drive Keep the module tucked under there. Like so. And get the other half of your case. Slot that on there, and you'll notice that the cable just slips in between the uh, the foam and the side of the bottom half. Jobs are good, and um, that's basically all there is to it. And just as a quick demonstration to show the control working, here we have uh, the Xbox uh, is up and running. I haven't got the thing completely together, obviously, as you can see. This just demonstrates the fan. Um, nice, smooth acceleration and deceleration